नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग हियर विल वी विल सी व्हाट वाज द ऑब्जर्व वेदर ड्यूरिंग प्रीवियस वीक एंड व्हाट विल बी द वेदर फोरकास्ट इन द अपकमिंग टू वीक्स इन द प्रीवियस वीक मोस्ट ऑफ द हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटीज वर कन्फाइंड टू आइदर ओवर द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड ओवर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया एंड ईस्ट इंडिया एंड ओवर द सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द पेनिसुलर इंडिया व्हिच आर सोन इन दिस पिक्चर एंड ओवर द सेंट्रल इंडिया ओवर मोस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ द peninsular india and west india only light or moderate rainfall has been observed however the major rainfall activity were confined over the himachal pradesh and uttarakhand where on the 13th and 14th night uh, we have received the extremely heavy rainfall with highest of 42 cm rainfall was recorded over the rishikesh and uttarakhand and for himachal pradesh and uttarakhand for both the region imd has given the extremely heavy rainfall warning 48 a 48 hours in advance that is on 11th of august and along with this some parts of the north east uttar pradesh bihar sikkim area and some parts of the north east india also received heavy or very heavy rainfall during the previous week uh, in the previous week our uh, the monsoon trough were, were uh, uh, lies over the foothills of the himalayas in the most days of the week uh, which are shown in this red color line however this blue color line represents the uh, normal position of the monsoon trough except this monsoon tree trough there were not any major synoptic features which prevailed over the indian region however one cyclonic circulation uh, which lies over the uh, which laid over the bangladesh during the most days of the week because of this circulation some parts of the east india and north east india received the good rainfall and similarly over the south peninsular india also a north south trough persisted over the this region because of that tamil nadu and adjoining areas of the uh, andhra pradesh received the good rainfall and uh, on today uh, because basically in this month uh, since the 5th of august till 16th of august uh, we are we were receiving we were experiencing the uh, weak monsoon conditions but the good news is today a low pressure area has formed over the northwest bay of bengal and because of the, this low pressure area the eastern parts of the monsoon trough has also shifted towards the bay of bengal because of this low pressure area and the shifting of the monsoon trough east india has already uh, experiencing enhanced rainfall activity from today itself and over the central india the rainfall activity will increase from tomorrow uh, onwards very significantly and it means the uh, the major the worst parts of the uh, this monsoon season where we have the uh, uh, the weak monsoon conditions for 11 days continuously since 5th of august till 16th of august is now over and the rainfall uh, enhanced rainfall has been started over the east india and adjoining central india and this enhanced rainfall activity will some uh, will continue during next two weeks however the plain area of the northwest india such as the punjab haryana parts of the west uttar pradesh rajasthan and some parts of the gujarat and maharashtra will continue to receive lesser rainfall in the upcoming weeks and if you look uh, a historical data then Uh, uh in the last 20 years mainly in the month of july and august maximum 18 days of monsoon break were recorded in the year 2005 and similarly in year 2017 in the month of july and august maximum 14 days uh, break monsoon conditions were prevailed however in the year this year that is 2023 monsoon was weak for the 11 days from 5th august till 16th of august but the monsoon break was only for the four days uh, in the uh, in this in the month of july and august and already we have seen the already low pressure area has formed and the rainfall has already uh, started over the east india and adjoining central india and this enhanced rainfall will continue in the upcoming weeks and if we look for the previous week observed rainfall so in the last week we have received 26 mm of the rainfall uh, 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 a country as a whole against the 61 mm which is somewhere 58 percent was lesser rainfall and if you look for the seasonal rainfall that is since 1st of june till 16th of Ju- uh, uh, august then the country received 555 mm rainfall against the 588 mm rainfall which is only just 6% below normal the areas which are shown in the red color they these are the areas where we have the lesser rainfall or the deficient rainfall however the green color and blue color areas uh, are those areas where we have 
have the normal or above normal rainfall so we can see most parts of the country in this in this monsoon season receive the good rainfall and if you look for the today chief synoptic features so today already uh, low pressure area has formed over the northwest bay of bengal and because of this uh, low pressure area the eastern ends of the monsoon trough is also shifted towards the bay of bengal and this low pressure area will move across the odisha and chhattisgarh and it will cause very good amount of rainfall over the entire east india and adjoining central india in the upcoming two weeks and basically if you look for the uh, first week that is 18th to 24th of August, then the major rainfall activity will confined over the East India, Central India and North East India and some parts of the uh, coastal areas of the Maharashtra and Karnataka also. However, there will be the very less rainfall activity over the Jambu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan and Gujarat state. And uh, on today, uh, we have given the extremely heavy rainfall uh, over the Odisha because of the low, low pressure area. And uh, uh, we have given the orange color warning for the Odisha. And over the parts of the northeast India, over the west Bengal, Jharkhand, Bihar, eastern parts of the Uttar Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh and Uttarakhand will receive the heavy rainfall on, uh, on today, on 17th of August. Tomorrow, Chhattisgarh and uh, Odisha will receive the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity at one or two places and heavy rainfall will be experienced over the parts of northeast india and parts of the uh, east Madhya pradesh vidharva telangana andhra pradesh coastal andhra pradesh and uttarakhand and east uttar pradesh which are given in the yellow color however the other parts of the country will receive only light or moderate rainfall on 19th of august also the major heavy rainfall activity will confine towards the east india and adjoining central india and northeast india remaining parts of the country will receive the light or moderate rainfall activity on 20th august also heavy rainfall activity will confined over some parts of the northeast india and remaining parts of the country will receive only light or moderate rainfall activity but on 21st of august along with the northeast india parts of the bihar some parts of the uttar pradesh and uttarakhand will again receive the heavy rainfall activity at one or two places all those areas are given in the yellow color and uh, uh, if you look for the week two so in the week two also the major rainfall activity will confined towards the east india adjoining central india and north east india and there also will be the some light and moderate rainfall activity will continue along the west coast and some parts of the peninsular india however jambu kashmir parts of himachal pradesh punjab haryana some parts of the west uttar pradesh western parts of the rajasthan and some parts of the gujarat state will receive less rainfall on the week two also and in the week two uh, uh, major rainfall activity will confine towards the east central india and northeast india because in the week two also the western parts of the monsoon trough will will lie close to the foothills of the himalaya however the eastern ends will shift uh, uh, south of the normal position so major heavy rain fall activity will be experienced over the east and central india and northeast india and if you look for the cyclonal genesis uh, uh, in the week two uh, a fresh cyclonic circulation is likely to develop over the uh, northern parts of the Bay of Bengal, but there is no cyclonogenesis probability over the Indian Ocean as well as the Bay of Bengal in the upcoming two weeks. For more detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website. You can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and our Twitter page. Thank you.